Hi there friends, welcome to floss tube number 16. This is my cross stitching channel called Sycamore Stitches and my name is Amanda, my pronouns are she, her. And welcome if this is your first time or welcome back if you've been following along for a little bit. Every time I turn my computer at this angle, I realize that I really need to get some stuff up on these walls. I have like cross stitches like all over the surfaces but nothing hanging on the walls and I really need to rectify that so anyhow maybe one of these days so um, it's been probably about two and a half weeks since my last video I had meant to do one early this week but um, it's been a little busy um, <clears throat> my my husband went on his first like business trip in over two years last week um and so that that I, we have three kids so I was solo parenting for a week um I'm also a doula and I was on call and I ended up having two births in two days during that week when he wasn't here so it was quite hectic um I was so looking forward to him coming home and um you know sharing some of the work around here but he came home sick he came back from phoenix with the you know virus that shall not be named which was the first time we had had to deal with that um so far so good for the rest of us as far as as far as that but he did spend a couple days taking it easy which is why i wasn't taping because my office here is actually part of our bedroom. It's like an L, it's a little cubby off of it. Um, and so I, I lost my office for a few days because uh, he was in here watching TV and taking it easy. Um, I mean, I still have my office, but there was another person on the other side of the wall. <laughs> Anyhow, um, I did get some stitching done and everybody, he seems to be on the mend and everybody seems to be doing well. So fingers crossed, it will stay that way. Um, I have a couple finishes of varying levels. So the first is an FFO, which is a fully finished object, which means that it's like all nicely framed and everything. And this, oh my, is from Emma Congdon's book, Cross Stitch for the Earth. It says, be kind to all that live. It's got a lot of glare on it. And it's got a lot of cute little critters in here. Um, and this is a birthday present, so I need to show it because it needs to get out here and get to the recipient. Um, what I really like how it turned out is that I had to buy a second frame because it just wasn't, it was like exactly 10 inches. And so my eight by 10 frame was too small. Uh, so I think this is like a nine by 11 frame or something, but it worked. It worked. My next is a just a finished object. I don't know what I want to do with this yet um, as far as fully finishing, but this is an ink circles piece called Dilly Dahlia. Can't really, it's very rainy out there today. And so my lighting is not the greatest. Okay, that looks pretty good from there. Although it's hard to see the variegation. But yeah, this is just a six by six piece. It didn't take a ton of time. Let's see, I put in like 24 hours. So for me, that's kind of a small project. I, I think my average is about 40 hours for a project for the size of ones that I usually do. So to me, this was kind of a small one. Um, and I changed the color of the fabric and I changed the color of the two greens in the piece. Here's uh, what they had it looking like. Um, and see, they made it into a pillow. I've never made a pillow before. I don't sew. I don't like, I mean, what am I gonna do with little tiny pillows? Um, I feel like it's something my animals or my kids would destroy. So I don't know what I'm gonna do to finish this. Maybe not anything for a little bit because I'm not sure that I'm gonna keep it either, but I don't know who I would give it to. I don't know. It's probably just gonna sit up there Maybe I'll iron it. Maybe I'll iron it. And um, it'll probably just sit until I figure that out. Um, 
but yeah that one's done and then my other one is not exactly it's a, a finish it's a um, finish for now which I have seen people reference before an FFN also from Emma Congdon's cross stitch for the earth book I'll show you a picture of it since it's not completely finished but it's my four seasons piece it is a like a four season sampler and I start I started it on the first day of spring and so I finished the spring section my plan is to do each piece do each Quad, quadrant of it in the season that it is so here you can see it starts with spring but it only comes over to here and then it's summer fall winter so I'm basically putting it away till the first day of summer at this point so here's my spring portion finished for now and um, looking good I think I told you last time I had made a mistake and then corrected it so that all the pieces will go together. So hopefully I did it right. And when I go to do summer, it will be fine. I love that we have this little life cycle. We've got little frog eggs that turn into tadpoles and then tadpoles with legs and then a frog. He's so cute. Um, I think that's, I think that's my favorite part of it. So I'm putting this away until the first day of summer and then I'll start on the next quadrant. And I have another, um, Think that I've started like in its place because I that's the kind of stitcher I am where I have every time I finish something I get to start something new so um, I have another project that's gonna go with this one throughout the year that when I'm not working on it because I'm done with a quadrant and waiting for the next one I'll work on the other one I have way too many rules for myself in my head but it's what I do you don't have to do you don't have to follow my rules I just have to follow my rules until I decide I don't want to follow them anymore and then I change them it's all good um, <laughs> so, oh, and I put like 33 hours into that. So by the time it's done, that's going to be a big project by the time I finish like all four seasons. So, um, those are all my finishes, a fully finished object, a finished object and a finished for now, um, which I will pick up in the future. Um, so I have two new starts. So let me show you this. First, I'm going to show you the one that's kind of going along with that uh, seasons, four seasons piece. Um, when I'm like in, in the off times of it, I showed this before. This is just a monochromatic peacock sampler. Oh, from Elena Karatanova. I bought it off Etsy. Um, and that's the name on it. I don't know what the name of the store was. Embroidery Patterns PDF might be the name of the store or the company. Um, and they have it just charted as a monochromatic sampler. And um, I have some plans that to add a little, to add some, a couple different colors. So first off, here's my peacock body. Which is only a couple hours of stitching but it went pretty quick so as you can see let me explain how I'm planning to do this first off this whole outer border not doing it which is like a third of the stitches in the whole piece one my fabric's not quite big enough I would have hardly any border if I added that and two like I don't need it um, it just doesn't it's not what I'm, I want the peacock not the other stuff but I will do the peacock himself and this inner border that kind of comes around here. So it will still have a border, just not um, as big of one. And my plan is to do the peacock body in the blue color, which I'll show you again, to do the border part in a purple color, and then to do all the feathers in this pretty Threadworks variegated thread. So here's my, and then this is on a 16 count with Wichelt Al Ada called Sea Lily, I think. It's the same one. It's part of the piece from this one as well. Um, here's my Threadwigs color. I believe the name of it is Tapestry. Its number is 1139. So 
This is just a DMC blue. I don't, if you want to know the number, I'll tell you. Um, I'll have to look, look, I have it written down when I have it in my bag. So this is the body. We're going to have the variegated that goes through blue, green, and purple as all the feathers. And then probably, I think I'm going with number 29 for my purple for the, the, the border part that I am doing. So um, that's the plan. I think this is also going to be a good piece for traveling um, this summer when I go on my trip because it only has three colors total um, and I'm probably only working on one color at a time. Um, and uh, it's on my it, it's it's on my pattern keeper, so I really don't need it's just like this one color in my phone, so it'd be a really good travel piece. So yeah, that's my start on that. I thought it would take me a while to get through this peacock body before I could get to the feathers, but this was seriously like one day like two and a half hours it and so I'm halfway done with his body so another day and I'll be done with his body and then I could start the feathers which I know will go more slowly because um when I you know when you have at least for me when I'm working with variegated thread and I have to do each x individually it takes me longer it takes each strand is more like 20 minutes versus 15. um I don't keep track necessarily of my number of stitches uh, unless I'm on Pattern Keeper, but I keep track of the time I spend on projects, which depending on the project, um, the amount of time is going to be a different number of stitches depending on like, like if it's, um, yeah, just depending on what, what, what it is. So, okay. On to my other new start, which I gave you, I showed you guys like a sneak peek and a clue and asked um, last time if you wanted to guess what it was. And um, Carol Menard um, did guess and guessed correctly. Um, Gracie also guessed, so thank you for guessing. Um, thank you for playing along. Um, but I had showed a yellowish green tinged fabric and all my colors, which were a lot. Anyhow, the uh, the answer is it is it was a Wizard of Oz themed one. It is a Satsuma Street one. Um, I know you can buy this just individually from Satsuma Street. I have it from uh, a contemporary cross stitch, like a magazine, but, um, but it's a digital, I have a digital magazine that I just printed this out. So anyhow, that is what I'm doing. I have changed the color of the background fabric instead of just a tan, it's more of like a yellowish. And um, so as a result, I know you can't really see it, but uh, I'm gonna change the colors in the balloon too um, so that it doesn't blend into my fabric as much. Because there are a couple colors in this that are very close to the color of my fabric. However, most of them are like on the interior of the Emerald City, so it will be fine. So I've already got a lot done on this. Um, obviously this is the Emerald City that I'm working on, lots of greens and like yellowish greens. Like see, this is the one, you can see the outline around the door. It's almost the same color as the background fabric. Um, now when it's inside all of the Emerald City, it won't matter, but it's the same color is used as stripes on the balloon. So I'm gonna have to change that to like maybe a, pale orange or something. One of my other colors in here. There's lots of colors in the rainbow, so I have plenty to choose from. Um, this is about seven and a half hours in. This fabric is a 14 count Ada. Picture this plus the color is willow and it's kind of a yellowish with I think like a green tinge to it, so I thought it was perfect for this with the yellow brick road and the emerald city. Um, and uh, it's super, super soft. Can you see like how soft this is? Like I have it pulled fairly tight in the hoop, but it's just the floppiest Ada I've ever seen. I mean, it's floppier than like any of my fabrics that aren't even Ada. So um, 
Well, it's nice that it's soft, like nice on your hands. I don't like how much give. You see how much give there is here? I have to be really careful with my tension. I feel like my, if I go with kind of like my normal stitching tension, it would pull too tight. So I'm having to like, I feel be careful. So I'm not really sure that I like this Ada. It's a little too soft. But if you like soft Ada, use this. So anyhow, oh, so Carol Menard, if you're seeing this, you guessed correctly. I said I'd see if I could find a prize. Um, so let me know if you're watching this and you see a comment, if this is something that you want and I'll send it to you. Um, if it's not, I don't know, it's the prize I have. Um, but I can send you the pattern of my Dilly Dahlia because I just finished it. And um, yeah, if that's something you want, put a comment on this video, let me know, um, or send an email. My email is always in the description at the very bottom if you go down. Um, so is my Instagram name, so you can um, DM me on there. It, use any of those ways to find me, let me know, and um, we'll figure it out. And uh, I can send it to you if you want. If you don't want, or if you don't ever see this, um, maybe I'll give that away in the future if I don't hear from you. But let me know if that's something you want, and I'll send it along to you. Okay. So next up, we have works in progress, my whips. I only have three because I have those two new starts and um, I didn't work on my counted canvas work piece or my giant bear piece this week. Uh, or this last like two and a half weeks. Sorry, I should have already had this, but my first one is an Al Forest embroidery. It's a box, so I never have it in the thing with it, um, called Frogs Princesses. It was a kit. I'm doing the middle motif, which is kind of huge. I feel like, wow, maybe the rest of this will go very quickly once I finish that middle motif since it's like almost like probably at least half of the thing it looks like. Anyhow, um, I'm using the Al Forest embroidery threads that came in the kit, but I did change the fabric. I'm using, I didn't like how dark that green was, so I'm using a lighter green oopsies, from my um, Fabric of the Month Club from Fortnite Fabrics. And I'm trying to think of what the name is of the fabric. They're all named after like disco songs. Staying Alive, that's the one this is, which is a green. So here I am, here's where I am on her. And she's looking pretty good. Last time, I think I still needed to do the gold of the, I did the gold of the headpiece. I did most of these stars here which are not finished because they're all gold and pink so I have some gold and some pink um and then I did this pull coming up over it's not done yet obviously and I also did her skin which if you can see is so this is on a 32 count and it's two over two but the skin is one over one both the face and her hands so that did take, even though it's a small bit of the thing, it actually took me quite a while to do. And it turned out pretty good. And when I had previously done one over one on 28 count, and this is 32, I was very frustrated with it. And this seemed to go better. So maybe I just don't like the fabric or something that I was doing that on previously. Anyhow, uh, maybe I'll give it a shot again in the future. So... I had wanted to get this whole middle motif done by the time I taped this, and I obviously didn't, but um, that's my goal now. My plan now is to finish the middle motif and start on, I think I'm going down below next, um, which I'm almost there. I have to finish it. I have to finish this um, pole here, finish some of these stars, and then there's some blue and some like waves, so. Um. That. Okay. <clears throat> My next whip um, is the Notorious Needle Pro Choice Stitch Along, which 
given the news from this week, I have been rage stitching on this. So I've got a lot of work done on it. Um, I can't remember exactly where I was last time, but I think that I've done the My Choice, finished the purple on the Y, done these little dots, the outline, just the outline of the uterus. Yeah, I think that's all new since last time. And then I did, yesterday I did this whole phrase, the back stitching and the cross stitching, which says, I will not go quietly back to 1950. It's hard for me to read because I feel like, because I'm looking at everything backwards, but you won't be. Um, and it, it goes a little bit past here. There's a little bit of uh, stuff on the sides. But um, yeah, it's going really well. And I, I think I have like, I don't know, there's a lot of stitches I already have in this. Uh, I'm not quite caught up. I need to obviously do the second color in the in these words and um, there's some back stitching around the my body there's some of these little loop-de-loops more of these around the outside and in here and then inside there's a couple more colors um, to fill in that uterus too and then just today part four came out um, which is another phrase on this side using the same colors and fonts as this one over here um, so, uh, I feel, I really like this stitch along and I, 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 I'm sure it was hard to break up the different parts, um, for Sarah to do, but it's, it was a little daunting in that the first parts of it, um, had so many stitches in them that like, it's like you're automatically, um, behind from the start, <laughs> but I actually feel like I'm getting more cut up now. So we'll see. But, um, yeah, I put like. 14 hours into this over the last couple weeks. I did nothing but like stitch on this yesterday. Did this whole did this whole section yesterday. And it helps a bit. Um, I'm sure not everyone watching this agrees with my point of view um, on, you know, the things that are happening now, but I work in reproductive health. My entire job is um, to assist people in birth and, you know, make sure they know what options they have and what rights they have and help them to advocate for themselves. So it really wouldn't make sense at all if I didn't also advocate for these kinds of reproductive health, health choices as well for people. Um, in addition to, you know, I've got three daughters and yeah, don't, don't need to be going backwards as far as our rights are concerned. Rights that I hope they never need, but I want them to have if they need them. Just like any other healthcare. So that's that. Go ahead and unsubscribe, whatever. Um, or maybe subscribe more. I don't care. Do whatever you want. It's my channel. I'll talk about what I want. Um, so I have one more whip, one more work in progress. I did not do much on it, but I finished a color on my Twisted Rainbow Sampler, which I guess I should find the picture of, but I can just explain it to you. This is a series of diagonal bands starting in this corner and going to this corner. I think it's about the size of this Q-snap when it's done. It might be a little bit longer. Um, there are 18 bands, 19 colors. The colors change in the middle of each band. And every other band is cross stitch and specialty stitches. So as you can see, I'm on band one, two, three, four, five, and I finished this color. So this is about the section I did since last time. Not that much, but I finished this color. I have one more yellow, one more yellow color. So I need to get started on that. And then I get into the greens and the blues and the purples, and I'm much more excited about that, but I've got to get through this yellow. Um, I've got to force myself. I should put something behind this. This is on a 32 count black linen using Dinky Dye silks. This is the first time I've ever used silks. They're pretty fun. Um, yeah. So, that is that. Oh, here. I guess I should show you the picture. If I can find it. 
here it is. Here's the full picture. Oh, I should say it's from Northern Expressions Needlework. So, as you can see, I'm only up here in these yellow butterflies. So I've got some more to do. <laughs> Plenty more to do. But it's a big one and it's fun. I think I loved it at first with the more saturated colors. I've slowed down in the yellows. And I really think that once I get to the brighter, warmer, or cooler colors again, I am going to be going much faster. Or not. I guess we'll see. Um, also, obviously, it's on a dark fabric, so um, it's not one that I can work on like in the evenings or anything like that. It's usually one that I work on in the morning if I have time. Okay, next is haul. I treated myself to a little bit of shopping. Some of it hasn't come in yet, so maybe there'll be more. There should be more haul next time as well. Um, I guess. Because A, we got a tax return, and then B, I'm like, oh, Mother's Day is already next weekend. I should just buy myself some things. So, firstly, I put it in order to Setsuma Street. Um, I've, I've had a lot of their stuff on my wish list for quite a while, but I've not actually bought anything from there before. I started, obviously, the Emerald City thing get, came in a magazine. Um, that's the first time I've started any of their things. So I was just like, let's go ahead and buy them. So I bought all of these season ones that I had wanted. Verano, which is summer. Um, Atano, which is fall, obviously. Invierno. I don't know if I'm saying these right. I think it's Spanish. I don't know. Um which is winter, and Primavera, which is spring. And they have, it's all DMC, but there's a lot of variegated DMC that is called for in these. So I have um, just made an order. As part of the order is, is the variegated threads from this. And also, I don't know if it's going to work, but I thought instead of doing these on white, so it's hard to decide what to do them on if you don't do them on white, because I want them all to have the same background fabric, but they have all different colors, some warm and some cool. So I thought, I bought some chalkboard black. I'm thinking it might be good. I think it will look good on some of these. I might actually have to change a couple colors, like dark browns, and make them into lighter colors on a black background, but I think I'm going to like that. I don't know. We'll see. I'll do a, a floss toss when I get them. But that's my idea, and that's the fabric that I have ordered that is on its way. I also ordered, let me just show you my phone because I didn't print them out, the, what are they called, Flower Friends patterns from Satsuma Street, which are, all three of these come in it. Um, you can buy them separately, too. They're very small. They're only like 65 by 65. So I bought the three pack of those patterns. And then I bought the floss pack too because they're charted with Cosmo floss, which I have no idea where I would buy. And they have a thread pack that you could just buy from them. So I bought that. And um, never used Cosmo floss before. So, and there's enough in this floss pack to do all three of those. They use the same colors. Um, as far as the background fabric for that, I think they have it on a tan. I ordered something that's like a pale yellow, a pale sunshiny yellow, which I think will look nice with it. So again, it's in the mail. I'll floss toss it when it gets here. We'll see. Um, okay, what else do I have? Oh, I got my fabric of the month from Fortnite Fabrics which I guess their serger broke. So it's not surged this week or this month, but even though it normally is. And this is called Last Dance. And it's a purple. It's looking a little blue on there, but it's definitely more purpley than blue. Um, and I think, I don't know, I put it in here. I think it looks pretty good. But I was thinking about maybe doing 
my botanical garden on this. I think it will look good. I've been waiting for one of these fabrics to be one that I could use for this. Um, most of the purple is dark in the piece is dark purple and then there's beads that are like probably kind of similar in color I guess I have them I can look but they'll be 3d and shiny so I think it will be totally fine we hold up the fabric with the beads yeah some of the beads like these ones are kind of very similar in color to the fabric but like they're beads they're 3d they're shiny um I think, I think I'm gonna like it. So, as of right now, this fabric is living with this pattern. Um, but who knows when I will actually start this. So who knows? I'm so sorry for the crinkling. Who knows if I'll actually uh, decide to do that, but I think that I would like that. Um, so currently, that's the plan for that one. I'm so sorry. I'm so prickly. Okay, one last thing of haul, which is more like stitchy kindness. Um, I won a giveaway on Denise's channel of Black Ribbon Stitch Studio. Um, I must be very lucky on her um, on hers because I, I won this a while ago from her, the little scissor fob that she made these beads herself, which is awesome. Um, and so I got, I can't show you, can I? It's a, just a pattern. Um, it's a kit for, it's, these are not the right ones, but let me just explain it to you. See these little like Valentine's Day heart candies? It's one of those that says we need to talk. So that's pretty funny and cute. And it comes with a little hoop and Ada and some needles. And it, there, the instructions have, the colorways for both a pink, blue, or green heart, but I obviously got the floss for a blue one. So thank you, Denise. I'm excited about this. Um, maybe I might pull it out maybe like next January or so and do, and do it for Valentine's Day. I think my husband would think it was funny if I gave him that. <laughs> and a card, a card from Denise as well. Um, oh. And I'm so glad to see her back here on Floss Tube. I know she's had some things going on and she was away for a bit, um, but she's back. And so that's nice. So um, I think that's it. Uh, as far as plans, I don't really know. I was trying to keep more on different schedules and making sure each of my projects got their time, but I've been uh, just more stitching for my mood lately. So I don't know if I'm going to continue that or not. I really would like to get my counted canvas work piece out this time since I didn't. I haven't for the last couple weeks. It's a little awkward though since it's on stretcher bars and it's kind of big and it's the, it's not something you have to sit at the table. You can't really like sit on a chair and, and stitch on it. So. Um, same thing with the bear. I think that's why I haven't worked on either of them. They're just quite kind of large. So I guess I've been wanting smaller smaller things I can hold easily and work on. So anyhow, I think that's it for now. I actually did this pretty quick this time. I always talk way too long. Um, and uh, I hope you all have been taking good care of yourselves and I uh, hope your weather wherever you are is better than ours here because ours has been rainy and horrible and I have not been out hiking hardly at all between the weather and my schedule. So I really need to get to that this month. So have a good day. Bye now.